the recently concluded 2024 BRICS summit marked a significant milestone in the group's ambitions to reshape the global financial order. One of the most transformative outcomes was the proposal for a unified depository and clearing system specifically for BRICS nations, known as BRICS Clear. This ambitious initiative has the potential to fundamentally alter global trade dynamics by allowing BRICS member countries to operate independently of Western-dominated financial frameworks, such as the International Monetary Fund IMF, and the World Bank. By establishing their own financial network, BRICS nations seek to minimize their reliance on the U.S. dollar and the associated economic influence wielded by the United States. If you are new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a like so you never miss another video. The heightened significance of this proposal is underscored by the recent return of Donald Trump to the U.S. presidency. During his previous term, Trump had issued stern warnings to global leaders about the potential consequences of reducing their reliance on the U.S. dollar. His threats included the imposition of severe penalties, such as tariffs or economic sanctions of up to 100% on traded goods, aimed at discouraging any efforts by BRICS nations to sidestep the dollar. These developments underscore the urgency for BRICS countries to seek financial systems that grant them greater economic independence. The bloc's leadership recognizes the need to insulate themselves from the influence exerted by the US due to the dollar's global dominance. Establishing an independent financial structure would enable BRICS countries to minimize vulnerabilities linked to U.S. monetary policy shifts while fostering trade and investment channels that are less susceptible to abrupt changes in American policy or sanctions. To fully grasp the motivations behind this development, it is important to consider the historical role of the U.S. dollar as a tool for exerting economic and geopolitical influence, often referred to as the weaponization of the dollar. The dollar's dominance as the world's primary reserve currency emerged after World War II, solidified by the Bretton Woods Agreement of 1944. This framework established a global monetary system where currencies were pegged to the dollar, which was backed by gold at a fixed rate of $35 per ounce. Even after the gold standard was abandoned in 1971, the dollar retained its pivotal role in international trade and finance affording the U.S. substantial leverage over global economic activities. Before World War II, the British pound sterling served as the dominant reserve currency. However, the war devastated European economies, leaving the U.S. in a position of economic strength, bolstered by significant gold reserves. The Bretton Woods Conference of 1944 aimed to stabilize the global monetary system, leading to the establishment of fixed exchange rates and cementing the dollar as the backbone of international finance. By the late 1960s, rising inflation and deficits in the U.S. created doubts about its ability to maintain the dollar's gold convertibility. This culminated in President Richard Nixon's 1971 announcement, suspending the dollar's link to gold and transitioning to a fiat currency system where the dollar's value is determined by market forces. Despite this shift, the dollar continues to dominate global finance, representing approximately 59% of global foreign exchange reserves as of 2023. The dominance of the U.S. dollar in the global financial system provides the United States with several strategic advantages. Primarily, it enables the U.S. to finance its deficits by issuing dollar-denominated debt that is in high demand worldwide. This demand stems from the dollar's status as the world's primary reserve currency, accounting for approximately 58% of global foreign exchange reserves as of the fourth quarter of 2022. This privileged position allows the U.S. to borrow at lower interest rates compared to other nations, as international investors seek the safety and liquidity of U.S. Treasury securities. Consequently, the U.S. can sustain higher trade deficits with postponed economic repercussions, a phenomenon often referred to as the exorbitant privilege. Moreover, the dollar's preeminence grants the U.S. significant influence over global economic activities through its monetary policy. Since many countries hold substantial dollar reserves and conduct trade in dollars, decisions made by the U.S. Federal Reserve, such as adjusting interest rates, have far-reaching effects on the global economy. For instance, a rise in U.S. interest rates can attract foreign capital, leading to a stronger dollar and impacting global trade balances. 
Additionally, the central role of the dollar in international finance enables the U.S. to impose economic sanctions effectively by restricting access to the U.S. financial system and the dollar. The U.S. can exert pressure on nations, entities, or individuals engaged in activities contrary to its interests or international norms. This capability is enhanced by the U.S.'s oversight of global financial networks, such as the SWIFT system, allowing it to monitor and control dollar-denominated transactions worldwide. The United States leverages the dominance of the dollar through several mechanisms that extend its influence over global financial systems and geopolitical affairs. 1. Economic Sanctions the U.S. utilizes the dollar's central role in international trade to impose economic sanctions that restrict targeted countries' access to global markets. A notable example is the sanctions against Iran, which have significantly impacted its economy by limiting its ability to engage in international trade and access foreign currency reserves. 2. Control of financial networks, the U.S. exerts influence over critical financial networks, such as the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, SWIFT, by coordinating with allies. The U.S. can facilitate the removal of specific countries from SWIFT, effectively isolating them from the global financial system, as was the case with Russia in response to its actions in Ukraine. 3. Asset Freezes the U.S. has the authority to freeze dollar-denominated assets of foreign nations, entities, or individuals, thereby restricting their access to financial markets. For instance, in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the U.S. and its allies froze the assets of major Russian financial institutions, including VTB Bank, which holds nearly 10% of the Russian banking sector's assets, significantly impacting Russia's financial stability. Why BRICS is seeking financial autonomy The BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, are increasingly seeking financial autonomy to reduce their reliance on Western-dominated financial systems. This movement is driven by a combination of geopolitical, economic, and technological factors, each of which underscores the bloc's desire for a more equitable and multipolar financial order. 1. Sanctions on Russia the imposition of Western sanctions against Russia, particularly following its actions in Crimea and Ukraine, has highlighted the vulnerability of nations dependent on Western financial systems. These sanctions have included the disconnection of Russian banks from the SWIFT network and the freezing of Russian central bank reserves. Such measures have underscored the need for an independent financial infrastructure to ensure economic sovereignty. Russia has emerged as a vocal advocate within BRICS for alternative mechanisms to shield against similar risks in the future. 2. Concerns over dollar dominance, BRICS nations, particularly China and Russia, have expressed long-standing dissatisfaction with the dollar's outsized influence in global trade and finance. The dominance of the dollar enables the United States to exert significant control over international financial transactions and impose economic sanctions with global ramifications. Financial institutions like the IMF and the World Bank, which many BRICS members view as tools of Western influence, further amplify this dissatisfaction. In response, BRICS nations have explored alternatives, such as China's Yuan-based cross-border interbank payment system CIPS, to diversify financial transaction frameworks. 3. Economic scale and trade efficiency, representing over 40% of the world's population and a quarter of global GDP, BRICS nations have substantial economic weight to capitalize on their collective scale. The bloc has explored mechanisms for intra-BRICS trade, such as conducting transactions in national currencies, to reduce exchange costs, minimize exposure to currency fluctuations, and bypass Western financial intermediaries. This approach aims to make trade within the bloc more seamless and less dependent on external systems. A multipolar world order, the rise of a multipolar geopolitical landscape has emboldened BRICS to challenge Western-centric systems and advocate for reforms in global governance institutions, such as the United Nations and the IMF. Establishing an independent financial framework is central to BRICS' broader vision of a multipolar world, enabling the bloc to assert its influence and reduce Western dominance in international economic policies. Technological innovations, advances in technology, particularly blockchain and distributed ledger technology, DLT, 
provide BRICS nations with tools to develop secure, decentralized platforms for cross-border transactions. These technologies offer an opportunity to bypass traditional financial networks like SWIFT and create systems that are more resilient to external manipulation or sanctions. South-South Cooperation the financial autonomy sought by BRICS aligns with broader initiatives like China's Belt and Road BR, project, which aims to foster closer political and economic ties among developing nations by promoting trade and financial cooperation within the Global South. BRICS aims to strengthen its collective bargaining power on the global stage and provide a counterbalance to Western-dominated financial structures. The BRICS Financial Clearing Proposal at the 16th BRICS summit held in Kazan, Russia, in October 2024, Russia proposed the establishment of BRICS Clear, a unified clearing system designed to facilitate financial transactions among BRICS nations without dependence on Western platforms such as Euroclear. This initiative, known as BRICS Clear, aims to streamline securities transactions within the bloc, enhancing financial autonomy and resilience against external economic pressures. The concept of BRICS Clear encompasses the creation of a centralized depository and settlement system, providing a dedicated infrastructure for cross-border trade and national securities among member countries. By reducing reliance on Western financial intermediaries, BRICS Clear seeks to mitigate vulnerabilities associated with potential sanctions or restrictions imposed by Western entities. A key feature under consideration for BRICS Clear is the integration of distributed ledger technology, commonly known as blockchain. Discussions among BRICS central bank officials are set to continue in December, as the complete integration of BRICS Clear faces regulatory, technical, and legal hurdles. However, even partial implementation could significantly boost trade within the block, potentially increasing trade volumes by 5 to 7%. The success of such a system will ultimately depend on its design and the member nation's willingness to adopt it. Factors such as the integration of existing national clearing and settlement systems, the harmonization of legal and regulatory frameworks, and the establishment of robust governance structures will all play crucial roles in the viability and long-term sustainability of BRICS Clear. Moreover, the broader geopolitical landscape and the response from Western powers, particularly the United States, will be critical in shaping the trajectory of this initiative. The U.S.'s potential reactions, ranging from diplomatic pressure to the imposition of counter-sanctions, could significantly hinder or accelerate the BRICS nation's pursuit of financial autonomy. Nonetheless, the very existence of the BRICS Clear proposal reflects the growing determination of these emerging economies to challenge the status quo and reshape the global financial order. As the world grapples with the implications of a multipolar system, the success or failure of initiatives like BRICS Clear will have far-reaching consequences for the balance of economic and political power in the decades to come. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.